Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Mary from Sister Wives thinks Cody insulted her after learning about her major life plans. As the family continues to splinter, Robin also admitted to feeling frustrated with her husband, claiming that at times his actions felt like a deal breaker for her. In the new hour on Sunday, Mary confided in Cody about her intentions to leave her home in Flagstaff, Arizona, and move her clothes company to the bed and breakfast she owns in Utah. She still intended to downsize and maintain a smaller home close to them in AZ, but the decision meant she would spend more time away from Cody and the rest of the family. She assumed Cody, with whom she has only had a platonic relationship since a catfishing event in 2015, wouldn't be bothered by her decision because she thought he had already given up on their relationship ever developing romantically. But she desired, as did Robin, that he would struggle to keep her around. Before telling her husband, Mary remarked, if it was a slap in the face kind of realization for him, that would be really cool, but I don't really have a whole lot of hope for that either. He instantly responded, cool that's good right? Robin expressed her dismay in a confessional, saying she wanted he had given Mary something to hang on to with them in Arizona. The more time Mary spends there, in my opinion, the more it resembles her happy place. He said, sounds like a natural course of action, before inquiring as to if he was supposed to be reading between the lines of her announcement. He questioned whether she intended for him to react by yelling, no, no, stay here, and added that he didn't want to appear as though they would be getting back into this marriage full-fledged. He said, I think I'm seeing the writing on the wall, I'm literally waiting for her to catch up, feeling that she was also leaving, but hadn't yet comprehended that she was leaving their plural marriage. Robin described it as frustrating to watch, feeling like she had no influence whatsoever on what was occurring with her family, given his reaction or lack thereof. I feel like there's so little left and I'm trying to show her that there's still some hope and Cody is not helping me with that, she said before adding that some days it feels like a deal breaker. After Mary made it apparent that she was still involved in the family, at least for her, Cody adamantly said in a confessional that her choice actually has no effect on me. She then assured Cody once more that, contrary to what he believed, she had no intention of leaving you and moving up there. I don't want you to think that I'm walking away, because sorry, I still have hope, okay, she said. I get hope that he would show a little more concern. She admitted, I wanted him to exude a sense of compassion, but it just wasn't there. Conversations like this basically just tell me, Go ahead, Mary, live your life on your own like you've been doing because nothing else is gonna change. The united front they were putting up, according to Cody, was making me feel very uncomfortable. He felt that Robin was pressuring him into reconciliation with Mary. He continued, I got one wife that I've got a great relationship with and I'm afraid if I abandon these women that she'll lose respect for me. He then asked Mary if she would be willing to relocate into an RV on their large Coyo Pass property after admitting he has no idea what the hell Mary genuinely wants from him or their predicament. She might be able to live in the loft, he added, adding that he was thinking of constructing a barn dominium, or barn condo, on the property. That felt like a slap in the face to Mary. He basically just wants to expose me to everything he doesn't want to deal with, doesn't want to see, and doesn't have room for. She told Cody in a confessional that she would much rather live in a smaller home of her own and said, it's just demeaning. He has zero concerns about anything involving me. At the end of the episode, she said, I wish he recognized some worth in me, but he doesn't. He wants to put me in the loft of his freaking barn dominium, you know. In a joint statement from January, Cody and Miri said that they had permanently terminated their marriage relationship. Their major choice must be coming up soon on the show, because this episode was recorded immediately after the holidays. Leo, their only child, was born in 1995 after Cody and Mary were formally wed in 1990. Prior to Christine's 1994 arrival, Janelle, the second wife, joined the family in 1993. Then, in 2010, Cody married his fourth wife, Robin, before divorcing Mary to be able to legally wed Robin. He continued to view Mary as his spiritual wife, 
but with time their bond grew more platonic, especially after she confessed in 2015 to having a catfishing relationship with a person she met online who was actually a woman. Following Christine's departure from their plural marriage and in the midst of his separation from Janelle, they divorced. In the midst of her estrangement from her father, Cody Brown, sister wives Janelle worries for her son's mental health. The distance between Janelle Brown and her sons and Cody Brown keeps growing. The Janelle boys Gabriel and Garrison considered moving in with Christine Brown's daughter Gwendolyn on Sunday's new episode of Sister Wives, which prompted new comments from them all regarding their individual problems with the family patriarch. Christine and Janelle found it pleasing to witness their kids' continued closeness in spite of Christine's decision to end her relationship with Cody. The possibility of their moving in together also occurred during Janelle's own divorce from Cody, which followed a significant rift between him and her children over his stringent COVID family rules. At this time, our family feels as though we all fled the ship in different lifeboats, to use an example. In a confessional, Gabe said, every single parent is doing a tremendous job keeping their family together. I think it's really nice that Christine and her kids can actually maintain a really functional relationship with my mom and her kids, the man said. The idea that we can still be in this cozy space together gives me a lot of hope. He continued by saying that after the COVID fiasco, he and Garrison were still at odds with their father. He stated that when they attempted to resolve their differences with him, they met with a wall, and that this is what really drove a wedge between us. Christine said she felt very permanently that things are going to be separate for many of them moving ahead and added that she would never again spend Christmas with her previous family. She did, however, mention that she would adore continuing to celebrate with Janelle and her children before Janelle forecasted that she and Cody would likewise never spend a holiday together again. Christine claimed that her own children were fairly used to Cody not being in their life, but when Janelle and her own children were present, she admitted that wasn't the case. Janelle went on to describe how the separation had affected them all. I've been concerned about the mental health of my boys. Gabriel is the kid who doesn't say anything, but he nevertheless feels everything very strongly, she remarked, and Garrison just seems angry or sadder, he's not as happy-go-lucky as he used to be. For them this has been a lot more devastating than it has been for my kids, Christine said. Near the end of the show, Janelle was seen celebrating her birthday with Cody despite the nasty drama going on between her, her kids, and Cody. If she can compartmentalize, she continued, the two are still able to enjoy each other's company on a very superficial level. She continued, however, I don't see Cody and I working out our relationship at this moment. I'm realistic, so I can see that it doesn't look well. Cameras didn't follow them on the actual date, but according to Janelle, they had a great time in Sedona and shared a delicious supper, but they lacked sparks, which was a problem. At one point, I slipped my hand into his out of habit and thought, this feels really weird, said Janelle. I retracted my hand from his. It simply stopped feeling right. She admitted at the conclusion of the hour that there just isn't anything there anymore. There just isn't. Thanks for watching if you liked this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.